Hey Pre-Med Star! So what are the top five ways to survive first year of medical school? First year of medical school is very tough and overwhelming and very exciting all at the same time. So I would say top five ways you can survive. Number one, I would say make sure you manage your time wisely. What I mean by that is first day you may be presented with an overwhelming amount of information and you might think just like an undergrad, oh I can start studying a couple weeks before the exam. No, you cannot do that in medical school. Medical school, make sure you start studying day one. So make sure you manage your time wisely. It might mean you study four hours today, five hours tomorrow, six hours the next day. But make sure you do that so that once the day comes, you're not stuck there the whole day trying to cram all this information, which might be impossible before the, the exam. So that's definitely number one. I would say make sure you do that. Manage your time wisely. Number two, I would say make sure you take a break. Just because you're studying all this information and you feel like you need to know for the test, it doesn't mean you cannot take a breather. Even throughout your long eight hour work or eight hour study day, make sure you take 15 minute breaks in between. You need that mental break. Your brain needs it. You need it. Go out, run for 30 minutes, come back, pick it up again. Make sure you take a break. It's something that you need to do and your mind needs to do. And make sure you get enough sleep too while you're at that break. Number three, I would say keep on going no matter how hard it seems. You might be stuck midway between first year and you might feel like you can't do it anymore because you have an overwhelming amount of information and you just have all these tests to do. Just make sure you keep on going. It's all going to be worth it in the end. Everybody's gone through it and everybody has gone through that point when you're just like, can I keep doing it? Keep going. It's going to be worth it in the end. Number four, I would say make sure you enjoy your breaks. So I already said make sure you take a break. Number four is make sure you enjoy it. So if you have a break, let's say you take a test after four weeks, Make sure you enjoy that weekend. Don't do anything medical related. Just sit back, relax, give your brain this mental break it's going to need so you can get back running once you start that one Monday or Tuesday, whenever it is you start classes again. Make sure you enjoy your break. Do something you really like to do, something non medically related. Go to the movies, go for a jog, go do yoga, hang out with your family, hang out with your non medically related friends, whatever. Just make sure you do something and really enjoy your break. Number five, I would say. Maybe sometime throughout first year you might feel like all this information, am I ever going to use all this information? There's all these little tiny details that I'm looking at. Remember, this information is something that's going to be worth it in the end. So always keep that in mind that you may feel like you're overwhelmed with all this amount of information. But in the end, after two years, after three years, even after four years, when you go into residency, I, I guarantee you it's going to be worth it, all this overwhelming amount of information. So make sure you always say that to yourself, it's worth it. Make sure you always go back to that one intention as to why you wanted to go through medical school and why you want to become a physician because it will all be worth it in the end.